Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to finish machining the waste shaft bracket. What I've got to do is machine the these faces for the slide bars. I'm going to bore through here for the way rod. And then I'm going to bore through these two places which is for the um, valve rods. So let's get that set up on the milling machine. All right, I've got this part set up in the milling machine. I've set the cutter to zero, which is the center of the crankshaft and cylinder. That is from this face here. And the height of the cutter, that is also set on the center of the cylinder from the mark on the lower one of these, which you can't see behind there. So now I have to cut to a depth from there to cut into these a uh, distance of 0.1875 of an inch. That just gives me enough to have a flat face for the slide bars. So let's get that going. Now with the diameter of the cutter and the distance each way from center is 5 eighths of an inch. So that's 0.625 each way. We'll just take that out there a minute. Right, that's lovely. Now I'll move the cutter back to zero and go 0.625 the other way.
Lovely, right that's those two faces done. Next thing I'll do, put the chuck in, drill and tap the two holes in each, which the slide bars would be bolted on to. Right, so I've got the centre drill in. We're going to go uh, 715 far this way, each way of zero, and then it's 0 0.406 each way from centre for each hole. So I'll centre them, drill them, and tap them. So now I'm going to go back to zero and 406 the other way. Right, back to zero that way. And seven, one, five, that way. Seven, one, five there. Back to zero and point four oh six the other way. Right. Now I'll change the drill. Now I'll just get the tap. Just put the uh, plug tap in. Lovely. Right, 
Right, that's one tapped. I'll just do the other three and get back to you. Right, so that's all four holes drilled and tapped in there. Now I've got to turn it over and do the other side. Right, that's all four holes drilled and tapped in these faces. Next thing I'm going to do, set it up and bore for the way rod through there. Right, I've got that set up to drill the way rod. So that's what I'm going to do now. Send the drill in. So that's through, through the first two parts <clears throat> as the drills get bigger they be longer but I have got the right size drill to go right the way through that so Right, now I've put the right size drill in. Right, so we're right through for the uh, way rod. Right, so I've drilled the hole slightly smaller so I can ream through, but I'm still waiting for the reamer to turn up. So the next thing I'm going to do set up and drill the two holes for the valve rods right so i've clamped that onto the milling machine bed this face here these two faces here i've got them square with the bed and these two parts here i've got that square there so hopefully that'll be right at the right angle I'll just get on and drill those. Just put the centre drill in. Beautiful. Right, I'll just check on the drawing. There's a measurement there to the centre of that one.
Next I'll drill up. Get the right size drill in there now for reaming. Right, this size drill I'm putting in now is the one so that I can ream it out later on when the reamer comes. take it out and have a look at it put it on the boiler right so I've got the uh, waste shaft bracket on the boiler I've drilled the fixing holes and these two holes here will be for oilers and I've just jigged up the slide bars they'll help keep the piston in line in the cylinder obviously the cylinder blocks all got to be machined yet this will be the way rod and this would be these would be longer of course will be the rods coming from the center of the crankshaft on some eccentrics running up to work the valves the casting won't very good I'll probably end up giving that a few coats of primer an undercoat and a nice gloss black I reckon because here of course it'll be covered in with some panels so I'm happy with how that went in the next video I shall be machining or start machining the cylinder block there's a lot of work in that. So please subscribe to my channel and join me as I build a two inch scale Fowler Showman's traction engine.